Hi guys, in this episode we'll be talking about storyboarding. Storyboarding brings ideas to life, can help you communicate shots more effectively and give you a better idea of how the narrative flows. If you're new to storyboarding, check out the work of some good artists. For example, Saul Bass, who did Psycho and Spartacus, and Joe Johnson, who did the first Star Wars. Some of my personal favourite artists are Frank Miller, Alex Ross and Jay Lee. They're all fantastic illustrators who have produced work for comics and graphic novels, which can be another fantastic inspiration for storyboarding. If drawing isn't your strong suit, consider hiring an artist or asking your local comic book store who may have a connection for you. But if you're handy with a pencil, here's some quick tips. Try adding perspective in your drawings. Leading lines help to create depth and provide a path for the eye to follow through your composition. Adding grid lines for your stage helps to show the camera angle and indicate where your characters are standing. High angles can convey weak or submissive characters, whereas low angles powerful and dominant. Here we have M1 Man arriving to work, so we're using a low angle hero shot of the road factory. If you have already secured locations for your film, taking photos for reference can help you really nail the perspective, and it makes it a lot easier to place your characters. To create a sense of depth, use foreground and background in your composition, and add some shading to help separate these elements. Shading can also be used to suggest lighting position. Other cues you can provide are arrows to indicate camera movement, or motion lines for characters and objects. It's also good practice to label each scene corresponding to the script. Here, we have the scene number, location, and time of day. Remember, the more information you can provide in your storyboards, the easier it is to realise your vision.